Hi, y'all. <laughs> what? I'm thinking of the fact that I look a little wild right now, but um, hello. This morning, we're we're off the late start. We're at Concerned Breakfast. Me is over here eating. But, um, we're having omelets, right? <laughs> look at your ears. Honey, why you fill that up in your mouth like that? Maybe I'm biased, but she's the cutest girl. I can't even. But um, we're having breakfast. I completely structured my day around meeting with this nanny today. But when I did message her, it was a little bit late. So I figured that maybe it wouldn't um, work out for today. So I did give her two options today or tomorrow. So it's mainly looking like it's going to be tomorrow. So <clears throat> we're now having breakfast. Um, but I also really wanted it to be today. I mean, because tomorrow I'm going to be on my way home from work. I'm like... A little bit tired, but we'll see how the day goes. You might also go on a walk because it's been a minute. It's going up to the 70s today. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've gone on a walk. So I said, today might be a good day for now. So we're probably going to try and see if we can do that today. But I also did structure going on a walk around um, meeting with her and then leaving from there and going on the walk. So again, here we are. So now I don't really know. This is why um, I don't like planning out the days too much because sometimes it just does not go how you plan it. But again, we're here for tomorrow. We're, we're, we have tomorrow. But um, I really did like her profile because I posted the job on care.com and I really did like her profile. I'm like, I want to meet with her ahead of time. Today is the 20th of the month and my mom leaves in 10 days. So I might meet with her early, see if I like her or not. Um, just to give myself enough time to find somebody else if not you know because when it comes to finding care for your kids it is definitely something different you have to trust that parental instinct when you meet the people the first nanny I had when I met her I loved her for Mia and haven't looked back since we still love her so much and she also did tell me that you know if ever I'm in a binder I should you know let her know because she lives close by I remember a couple of weeks ago, I had to go to my coworker's mom's funeral and I ended up having to message her and she was available and took her. We're having breakfast and honey, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. guys, she has this thing about her. Sometimes I don't even bother, bother putting her plate on the high chair. Sometimes I put this stuff out on the high chair because Mia has this sort of thing about her where she just starts tossing the food off of there. And now she's doing that. A lot of times though, it's when she's done that she tosses it off. She just ate a big piece of her sausage. Look at her now scrambling to eat up little pieces on there with a piece of bread that she has in her hand. She likes bread, specifically cinnamon raisin bread, and she likes rice. So you know, we're here. I have a little something packed away for her lunch. I just need to add some fruits to that, but also we need some fruits. She really likes oranges too. She likes banana. She loves blackberries. Oh my goodness. If you fill the table with blackberries, she's probably going to eat it. Hi, honey, but we don't have any right now. I need to get some more of that. But for the most part, we're just here. I'm definitely going to take a walk today. I don't know if I'm going to go as far as I would typically go because, girl, I haven't gone in so long and I don't know how my legs are going to react. So, chances are, we'll go to the park close by. I had mine for her and I to sit and have lunch because it's something that I've been doing with her a lot lately. So far, we've just gone to the subway because I really do like the subway and like, the, you know, it's a sandwich. So her and I will sit and eat the little sandwich and stuff and then she'll sleep out the walk. You know, it's still really good times. I have to do her laundry, but maybe tomorrow. And her face is as greasy as it come. Talking about that. I just took my, um, my vitamins and stuff. But also, I just ate the sausage that I have in here and it's so salty. When I tasted it, however, I gave her a teeny tiny piece. So I'm gonna look to give her like a lot of water. Um, myself too but I think later on I'm probably gonna have to end up taking another one of my amlodipines just so that when I'm at work tonight my head is not like hurting me because my blood pressure is a little bit elevated from all the salt but we'll see we're gonna go and kind of kick start the day a little bit 
um, figure out what I'm gonna put on her because these days I don't get her dressed for breakfast anymore. Only meal she's dressed for is lunch and that's mainly because she's she's already dressed. And sometimes I'll even take her shirt off because it gets so messy. Right now y'all should see her face, it's so greasy. Later y'all. <sighs> Hi y'all, me again here. So recently I watched a video on um, OCD because I'm always trying to understand like, I can't even remember. At one time I had started doing some prerequisites before and it just didn't work out because the way how, I mean, we had a professor and everything, but it just wasn't, mm, I don't know what was going on. Maybe um, at that time mentally, I didn't have the bandwidth to continue or whatever. I don't really know. But also it was all over the place where like the credits were concerned. If I had continued, I would have been done now. But every school did not accept the credits. And the worst thing is to go to an institution that does not accept the credits and having to start over. But anyway, um, I'm always trying to understand the human mind and like how it works, right? So I think psychology would be a good field for me, but we'll see. Maybe I'll, maybe as a nurse, I'll end up in the, you know, mental health field. I don't know. We'll see. One thing about me, they said there's life and death in the tongue. And so I really always try to make sure that I speak certain things over my life and over my kid's life. And, you know, just people around me. Anyway, sometimes too, you got to call out whatever a situation is. We are going off on a tangent. But, um... I recently watched a video about OCD and I feel like I, and I got a, uh, the term for my specific OCD but I can't remember what it is. Hi honey. Okay. We're taking you out. But um, as I was cleaning up after breakfast with Mia, it made me realize that with mine specifically, now I'm not going to say that there haven't been moments where I've, I've done meal times and I haven't left the kitchen in kind of a disarray. Now, mind you, I will leave the things in the sink, even though that's not something that I really like. But also, if I have more things to do, then I'm prioritizing other things and leaving the things that I could come back to and it's not the end of the world. But even before having Mia, I've always known that when it comes to cleanliness, organization, and stuff like that, my OCD will start jumping out of me if the place is in disarray. To the point where... Every time we do breakfast and stuff like that, after breakfast, I'm trying to make sure that I clean up in stages. So like, I take her plate away, and I'm washing her plate same time. I take the top of her high chair off, and I'm trying to make sure that I clean it down same time. So when I put it away, it's ready for the next meal, but also it is clean, essentially, even if not for the next meal. Because sometimes when I'm eating, I will just, you know, feed her with me and stuff like that. So maybe not so much about the next meal, but just in general, like everything I'm doing, I want to clean up as I go along because I really do like and enjoy when the apartment is clean, just in general. And I remember when we were growing up, maybe all of these things stem from, I think they do. Um, a lot of how we are as adults stem from like how we grew up and like the type of parents that we grew up with or mom was very strict. Well, she had we we things were a certain way and that was how it was all along we know how her mom is we know things that she's not going to accept and we had to conform to whatever the rules are that she said even if we don't like it right and so um we always had to things always had to be clean you always have to clean up somebody's responsible for the dishes somebody's responsible for the dish towels you know Somebody's responsible for the pot. My brother was always the one who washed the pots and like the bigger pots because my mom used to run a cook shop. And so we used to have some really big pots. I think I used to do the dish towels, maybe. Or maybe I used to cut up like the, the, the seasonings. I can't even remember what it is. But I think all of that um, has a lot to do with how I am right now in terms of like organization and stuff like that. And since my mom has been here, also thank God for her because she's been here for four months and we've not had to pay a nanny to be here or whatever because, you know, she's just been here and like been helping out with the baby a lot. And so there's that as well. But, um, you know, since she's been here, I've realized that her and I are completely different. And maybe it's an old people thing, but my mom loves having a little bag of this somewhere and like, let me show you having a little cup right here on the counter that little cup has water in it 
since she came, I've been telling her, you know, I don't like the plastic containers and the lady that she goes to in the daytime, sometimes she'll bring food home and she'll, that she made, and she'll bring it in like a plastic container. And I'm like, where are all these plastic containers coming from? I don't like plastic containers. And it's been a couple of years. So most of the containers that I do have are glass. And I do have a few big plastic ones that I will like store away food in. But also the bigger plastic ones that I do have, my friend had given those to me because every time I'm giving her food and she doesn't like glass, because she, maybe she thinks it's too heavy or whatever. This is this is going on for, for quite a while now. Anyway. So um, I'm noticing that she likes having stuff everywhere. And if you guys have been here for a while, I do not like having stuff everywhere. I have a space for everything. And that's just how it goes. When things are out of place, it really triggers me bad. I could come home and I could see too many shoes at the doorway. Because me as dad, that man will leave a million pair of shoes at the doorway. And even when you say something, yeah, I'm going to move it. And it's there for a minute, okay? I can't even. But recently, it has not um, been so bad. Mainly because I will just throw them in the other room. Because I'm not, I'm not about to deal with that. But also, I've talked about it for so long. I'm not about to keep talking about it. And I'm not about to deal with it there either. Because I be coming home and I'm triggered as hell. Ruining my entire day is how bad it is. But you know. My mom has mad stuff. Right now is an exception because she's um, coming to the end of like her time here. She's going home. And so every year she comes, she has to pack her, her stuff to go home with. So she has quite a few stuff. So this side of the living room is in complete disarray. Okay? And that is not the end of the world. Because nine times out of ten, too, I'm not really in here like that. <laughs> um, especially since having Mia. Because, um, you know, I'm, I'm still going to work. I'm doing so many things. And so, sometimes in the daytime when I'm home, I'm sleeping. But more recently, now that she's bigger and she's exploring and stuff, like, I'm out in the living room with her a lot. So, sometimes we'll even be out here and we will, like, take or load of naps out here or like her naps because these are her naps and i just be tagging along because i don't have another choice but like right now the living room is in such disarray and i'm like stressed out and the other day i've said to her mommy will you come home with a bag please just take the things out of the bag i don't want to see fruits tied up in a bag on the table because i have a container on the table for the fruits and it's just all the things just be triggering me but also i know that it's temporary because again she leaves soon <laughs> another example you see in front of the TV? Those are her medication contain. I am dying. Okay. This month is killing me. But that just shows me that wherever I end up in life, I have to have a space for everything specifically. And like I said, before my mom got here, like I, I've done really good with that, with creating a space for everything, buying furniture that has storage because I know that I can't see too many things at a time. Mwah. Mwah, Mia's blown kisses. Mwah, good job, baby. But, um, yeah, wherever this life takes me, I need to have a space for everything. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose my mind. That is the conclusion. Because I feel like I'm kind of losing my mind a little bit here. Every time I have to come in this living room, and I have to pass the living room to go in the kitchen, it's right, it's, the kitchen's right off of the living room, and the living room is right off of the kitchen, so they're right there. But, yeah, the conclusion is that I'm losing my mind a little bit. Mia is the next one, too, because she has quite a bit of stuff. Like, her birthday's coming up, and for her birthday, I'm telling all the aunties, do not get this girl no toys. She has quite a bit of stuff right now that she's still exploring. You don't need to have an entire room full of toys for your kids. And maybe this is me telling myself, she, Mia is completely fine. Hi, baby. Right? You don't need to have a million things. She, she has things that she's gotten since Christmas where we're still yet to explore. But also, the living room has been packed up for a while, so she hasn't had all the things out. And also, I bought this ottoman, and when I was buying it, I was thinking about the fact that my baby is getting bigger. And one of her godmothers specifically believes in getting toys that makes noise. So all the toys she got her for Christmas makes noise. Mia loves them. But, you know, I have a space for everything and that is how i live my life <laughs> i'm going to die on that hill of having a space for everything i can't with the unorganization the clutter 
uh, this like since my mom has been here i think i've told my sister that i think or mom is an emotional hoarder <laughs> she has so much stuff bro me and i are gonna get ready for the day and we're, we're gonna take a little walk i don't know how far the road is gonna take us i slept this morning i, I mean i went to bed late and, and slept like throughout like some of the morning but um we're gonna we're gonna take a walk right honey yeah yeah, I haven't taken her outside in a minute.